And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Imperion. Well, as you can see, the ship is gone. I deconstructed the whole thing, and I'm not sure why it never got rid of this. I mean, the ship is gone. There's, there's not a block left. Not even a flare or a light. I've looked and looked and looked to see why it hasn't gotten rid of that yet. For the life of me, I have no idea. But, since that is gone, um, I have been really hard at work. I've taken the Lady Big out here and used its great old multi turret, the new multi turret, to tear down some stuff. I tore quite a few layers off of the abandoned mine, and I went out to this crashed Titan, the place that we have already been. And I pretty much obliterated that whole thing. Uh, and that got us some, you know, serious uh, satium and steel plate parts. Which I am now crafting into combat steel. Because if I'm looking at these, this is the one I want to build. I haven't ever built it. But it looks pretty heavy duty. And if I can see here, the satium ingots way outweigh the iron and that tells me that this is indeed uh, a combat steel based ship and amazingly I you know I didn't design this thing and amazingly it actually has the same color scheme uh, as my jumper which by the way is uh, we have a mark II version of this that I want to get into uh, but first the new ores I've crafted up the first set as you can see we've got some yummy juicy ores so we have a restroom let me get these by color okay so there's a restroom I'm gonna put a few of these in here I don't have very much room so I wanna I wanna kind of conserve some of that room because we need to we need to craft up some some glorious things. Um, okay, where do I want to put these? Well, I could put them right in here. The one thing I do want to do though, uh, I want to take I want to create some components here. So a restroom gel. If I want a thousand of that, that's two thousand of this so so there's exactly a thousand restroom gel I also want zascosium and that's uh, another five I want a thousand of this so there's that's another five thousand so one two three four five and then one two three four five so a total of seven stacks um, and then I need another five uh, uh, stacks of the Zascosium. That's why I wanted more Arrestrum than the Zascosium, because the Arrestrum gel is used in a few recipes. Uh, so I wanted to make sure we had our bases covered there. Now I can put these back. Amazingly, I'm actually comparatively low on Sathium. But again, I could always go to the moon and uh, build up another metric ton of that. There we go. Now we've got a little bit of space here for this glorious stuff. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, first you get in here. So we've got a little bit left to go. Now I want over here. This is still off. One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. It gives us exactly five thousand. Queue up a thousand of this, just like so, and then turn it on. So yeah, you, we're only going to get one out of every one of these crafts. So. Uh, I, I set up a couple extra crafters here, and this guy, 
this guy is pumping out some oscillators um, a thousand oscillators because I was kind of looking at my weapons because some of my advanced weapons you know I'm, I'm gonna want to build some of this stuff um, so like artillery shells well those things use oscillators you know and I forgot I left I left the planet without getting any magnesium so that is kind of a problem I don't have any magnesium to speak of. Oh, I keep looking at the wrong one. Okay, so this one, I want to set all those as safe things so I can just shift click all of those in. So, I want to set up another craft on this. So, I'm going to turn this off. All right, so I want basically seven stacks of each. That's how I calculated that. And I want them alternating. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. And you just put them in here in that order. Oops. Wait, wait, wait. Why did those go out in the middle somewhere? There we go. So now when it processes them, it'll process this one, and then it'll process this one, and then this one, and then this one. So it'll, it distributes the ore a little bit. Um, so yeah, the furnace is now automated, which is so nice to be able to just drop ores in there. All right, the other thing I wanted to show is uh, the first thing I did when I got in was I smelted all of the gold. Um, so I just let this thing punch out the gold. Now the gold, five ore, does not equal ten ingots. It equals one ingot, unlike the other ore. So you only get one ingot. But I smelted down fifth, or I smelted down fifteen thousand ore, which you know roughly translated to three thousand ingots, which I then converted into coins, which is right here. So we've got two rows of coins. So I wanted to do this on camera. So as you can see, we've got what is that? Five, ten, fifteen thousand and roughly 480 15,480 coins so let's see what uh, my lovely what my balance is after I deposit all these so 6,500 credits is what I'm at so a thousand here oh I can't actually okay well that's a lot let's see if we can get this to roll over so each one of these is roughly 50,000. Which makes sense because they're 50 each. I'm going to be able to buy a ship for this. That's weird I couldn't shift click these over here. Holy cow. 780,000 credits. That should buy me some stuff, shouldn't it? 780,000. I don't even know what to do with that much that much wealth. Uh, okay, so we are a little shy. Um, let's go to components. Do iron, copper, and silicon. Just to punch through the, the few ores that I have in here. I've got so much stone. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to go over here. Put those in. So yeah, I'm crafting up these combat steel, which is taking it's taking a lot of these steel plates that I've I've brought in. And a whole lot of the hardened steel plates as well. So yeah, it's 10, 10 steel plate, 8 hardened plate. Okay. 
That's a lot. That's a lot of steel plate. I might need some more hardened plate. I'm going to throw some more hardened plate in there. Just because. Fill that one up. Fill that one up. There we go. Should have enough steel plate. You know, it's basically a thousand per. But uh, I was a little low on hardened plate. So that should... That should run through. No problem. Okay, now that that drill or now that we've got some advanced awesome stuff in here i want to queue up where is let's go to hover vessels uh these drill module tier two i want to drill up queue up not drill up queue up six of those so those use the zascosium alloy that uh, we actually have queued up over here but these are going to take a while. I mean, only 164 in out of 1,000 for the gel. And these two should take these two, or uh, this, um, this craft should take these two plus some from there. Maybe two. It'll take two from this stack here. But that all, that's made up with this over here. So I'm not too concerned with that. As long as everything's counted out right, it should, be, should work fine. And the oscillators are burning through the neodymium, the satium, and the cobalt that I threw in here. And don't worry, we've got ample amounts of cobalt left over. We are no, in no way going to run out of cobalt. Okay, so while we wait, uh, let's take a look. All, all the components that I tore off of that ship, I put in here somewhere. Is it up here? Nope. Down here. Nope. Oh, there it is, down here. So yeah, I tore, tore down this. So all the, like, the machines I kept, and the thrusters I tried to keep if I found them, um, and, you know the warp drive a lot of the stuff uh, that we would normally have to craft I wanted to craft myself um, again if the developers ever catch wind of this series I really wish that we could click on a like a prefab and instead of the ingots have another or in addition to I should say the resources have a kind of a list of blocks so you have steel blocks combat steel blocks hardened steel blocks um, have a like a just a count of those have a count of um, you know just a list just a list that has a scroll bar with everything in it all the components that are in the ship so how many different thrusters different weapons so you can craft those up way prior to actually needing them because right now I have no idea what weapons are on there I mean it looks like it's got tons of weapons but I have no idea which weapons are actually on there so it would be nice to get a glimpse of those uh, otherwise yeah we're just gonna have to kind of wing it as far as my jumper goes uh, this thing has it's got a fewer number of of gatlings, but it has new ones added on, which is where you get the added uh, tier three ores. Um, so yeah, we can st we could start crafting that up now. I could should I just dismantle this? I could just dismantle this thing. Well, this poor thing. I don't want to repair it just because I feel sorry for it. We need like a hardened 
We need like a hardened cockpit is what we need. Yeah, so I kind of want to tear this down and uh, use the components here. Oop, I didn't actually mean to get in there. Um, let's go on the control panel, turn the power off. Well, I'm going to manage. I need to pull out as much as I can. Withdraw, 1283, probably 1200. Oh no, I actually pulled out quite a lot. Don't actually know where they go though. Oh, I have fuel packs. I didn't even notice those fuel packs down there. Okay. Everything else. Oxygen is off. Power is off. Everything is off. The uh, warp tank is empty. <clears throat> I think I've already gone through, emptied it all out. So that's obviously as empty as it's going to get. This has got this has gotten emptied out. Uh, ammo, fuel has already gotten emptied out. Missiles? Ooh, yep, there were some missiles left. Nothing in this constructor. Nothing in the fridge. Nothing there, and nothing there. Because the majority of these parts will go into the new one, plus a smattering of extra parts. Uh, okay, so we need... I have missiles that can go in here. I have oxygen that can go up here. And I want to put these fuel packs in here. I'm not actually sure if anything takes them or not. They used to. Looks like it just takes up just takes the straight up lithium pellets nowadays. Yeah, look at the railgun. Sescosium alloy. Three of them. Ouch. That's. Ouch. That is not a cheap ammo to produce right there. Uh, okay, so if no ammo actually takes it, I might as well take it out and use it for fuel. Okay, so this whole thing needs to get torn down and I want to do this as simply as possible. Take out all the RCSs. It does not have a warp tank, so I'm not going to worry about a warp tank. I want to get the main components first. careful because there is I had a lot more regular thrusters on here than I thought I did Kind of hidden in there. Okay, so now we're at the basics. Pretty sure that's 
everything. How much room do I have left? Yeah, see, I used up a ton of the room that I had. Ready. I should have some cargo boxes. I'm going to make a temporary cargo box over here for all of these components. There we go. Now I want the weapons. And for some reason I have... What is this? Oh, warp drive tank. You can go in there too. So now I want the weapons. This guy as well. And, oh, let's take these out first. There we go. All right, so now we're down to the bare essentials, the bare minimum. Just a sh basically a shell is all that's left in the cockpit. Uh, let's take out the cockpit. There we go. That way. Now I can basically take out pretty much everything else. Let's take out the uh, back fin. And uh, get up. Ooh, there's another thruster in here. Okay. Now the rest of it is just blocks. I don't know why there is no structural integrity involved, but like blocks are just floating out in the middle of nowhere. I'm not sure why it sometimes does that. Might have to do with it being a you know a functional or at least a a ship that was used at one point. And I really wish small vac small vehicles could uh, have combat steel that would be so awesome Thing is with the new change the new update um, they've changed it now so um, growing plots no longer require cobalt they require and you guessed it oops uh, they require plant fibers again. So guess what I have to do in order to be able to build my uh, my farming ship? Well, yeah, we're gonna we're growing plant fibers. <laughs> I converted the whole farm to plant fibers. And so far I've got 600 of them. Uh, let's see. 400 is 100. I need for a 12 hundred and something so 1200 would be three uh, 300 I need 60 on top of that so 60 times 4 another 240 so 1440 uh, plant fibers I need to be able to build that cat or that uh, that farming ship and, I mean it's doable but uh, it's a, that's a lot. That's a lot of plant fibers. Okay, let's uh, grab that. Before I do. Oh, I did it again. I just did the exact, the exact same thing I did on the other side. There we go. Kind of 
seeing the guts of how this thing was put together. I don't want to take, I don't want to take that core out yet, because the second I take that core, it will no longer give me the blocks, the finished blocks. It'll start giving me components. So I'm going to leave the core there. Yeah, this thing had some damage in it. Am I... Was I using the... Oh, yeah, I think I am. Okay. So there's the core. I can take this. These. By far the most complex ship I've ever designed. Yeah, look at the, all these blocks are damaged. Oh, I can't stop doing that. As soon as I face down to try to get the block. Ooh, I almost did it again. You see that? damage on these blocks. to the bare minimum so I'm thinking taking this one okay now I want to take this and now you can see it's giving me steel plates okay this looks like it was damaged here so let's repair this yep They're slightly deformed when they're damaged. Oh no, I'm gonna keep keep those components because we need we're gonna need them. Alright, so there's the combat. Ooh, the drill modules are done. Let's go throw those on our ladybug. set. Alright. Ooh, there is some damage on you. Not sure how, but probably the shenanigans rolling around. Saw 45. Yep. Probably rolling around on the on the landscape or something. Alright, well that'll do it for this episode, and I thank you for watching. See you next time.